What's up guys, this is Isaac from Tag 2 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed up your Windows 10 computer. So I know that uh, Windows 10 when you download it is a very large file and I mean regardless of what whether or not Microsoft says it may be a faster operate, operating system but it also puts a lot more files on your computer. So what we're going to be looking at today well, actually, hold on. If you haven't already, you can go check out our site, tac2dev.com. We're coming out with a new app, uh, too, actually, and it talks about us and, you know, our YouTube channel and what we've been up to. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to right-click the taskbar at the bottom, and we're going to click on Task Manager. What shows up here is this box, and... Um, we're going to click on the startup tab at the top and you can see all these programs um, Some of them such as Spotify uh, That I have downloaded and just just things that look like you don't need Dropbox If you don't use Dropbox right away when the computer starts up or if you don't use it every time same goes with Spotify for me um, you just want to right click it and mine's disabled here so you could like disable it just like that and um, it'll get it'll free up some startup memory and uh, really speed up your computer and it also won't be running the whole time your computer is running until you actually turn it on so uh, next thing if you have a laptop what you want to do is come down to the little battery down on the right here right click it click power options you have three power options here you have balanced High performance and power saver. Um, one of these might be underneath this little drop down menu thing here. If you run on high performance, it, yes, it uses more energy. If you're plugged in, it doesn't matter, but this will make your uh, computer or laptop run faster. So there's another quick thing. Uh, next up is disabling Cortana. I know. Um, I know she's nice, you know, helpful, but she's always running. She's always she's always waiting for you to um, ask your question and stuff like that. And it's it's a fairly large program because it's you know it's it does a lot of accessing of data and stuff like that. So disabling that will really help. Okay, so moving on, let's go to our control panel open it up and click on system and security then if we come down come down 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 we get to administrative tools and you can see this says free up disk space you want to click OK here um, it's going to calculate it real quick and what it's going to eventually bring up here is a little window that will tell you um, the files the excess files that it can delete um, to get rid of some some space on your hard drive. So that's loading. I'm gonna go on to the next thing here. So you can also see it says defragment and optimize your drives. Now this takes a while. This is a, a fairly long process. So you can see all your hard drives here. If you have um, uh, virtual drives and stuff like that, that's what these are. But usually your normal one is your C drive. Uh, and so mine's zero percent fragmented yours might not be but you want to do what you want to do is click analyze and then once it's done analyzing clicked click optimize now this might take a while it might take like an hour it takes you know it does a lot of stuff but what it does is it cleans up and gets rid of all the corrupt files on your hard drive so those don't get in the way and it makes it uh, so it can access information faster and more quickly so now going back to our disk cleanup here, you can see I have um, a couple of things that to clean up. And don't don't click clean up system files. I don't know why they even put this button here. All you need to do is click OK. Um, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yeah, so long as you look through here and you didn't see anything that you really needed, click delete. And then uh, what it's going to do here is it's going to go through and delete all your temporary files. So uh, next thing we want to come up to security and maintenance and 
Actually, let's go back here. You want to troubleshoot common computer problems. So you can, uh, you can look for uh, maintenance tasks, uh, fix problems with Windows updates. So if there's updates or you can um, see if there's any issues and stuff like that, you can go under here and see if there's any problems, any notifications that you need to update stuff and just do all that, get it all cleaned out, get rid of all the errors and uh, there shouldn't be any problems there. So, um, I think, I think that's about it. Oh, you've got two more things. One, your recycle bin. If you've got stuff in here, delete it. There's no reason to keep it. That just takes up space on your hard drive, not something you need. Um, the last thing is go down here to your search bar and type in add or remove programs. Here this comes up, click it. And uh, you can either do uh, your apps, that's not, not really what I wanna do, but you can add or remove your apps. Oh, just kidding, sorry. So you can see all this stuff here. You have all your programs. I guess these are, these are technically apps. But if you've got things in here, like um, Lenovo UCAM, I don't really know what that is. I'm not sure why I have it. But it takes up, what, a quarter of a, a gigabyte? Like why, I'll un uninstall that after this video. There's certain things on here that you just really do not need, so go through and uninstall them. Um, I'm not sure why this is still on here. Uh, it must have come back on when I installed Windows 10. So definitely make sure to uninstall uh, antivirus programs if you have two. I repeat, if you have two. If you have just one, you're fine. If you have two antivirus programs, uninstall one. The antivirus programs will conflict with one another and slow down your system. Um, just another quick little thing. Always, or you know, not always, but you can do a quick full system scan. I recommend uh, Avast free antivirus software. I've used them for almost 900 days now. But uh, just do a full system scan, start it up, make sure you don't have any, any uh, corrupt or you know, Trojans, bad viruses, uh, rootkits, stuff like that. Just do a full system scan. This will go through, you know, get everything, and you'll know your computer is running at full capability. So, with that being said, that is about all you can do, uh, to my knowledge, to speed up your Windows 10 computer. So, if you guys liked what you saw, you know, feel free to come here, check out our site, tac2dev.com, and uh, we're going to be, we're working on two apps right now, they're in development, they're going to be out soon, and uh, we're definitely going to be bringing out more videos for you guys with Windows 10 here. So, uh, this has been Isaac from Tech 2 uh, signing out, and thanks for watching.